Hello, everybody. Welcome to <laughs> CPA public hearing on this year's projects. We have two of them. One is for a library, which they are asking for funds to install a lift, provide accessible restroom, and make other changes to have to improve the handicap accessibility, as well as installing a modern firearm. Firearm, <laughs> fire alarm. And the second one is the Veterans Memorial, Memorial Park project for 21,000. Um, and you guys all know about that. Still nobody? Nope. Nope. I moved to close <laughs> the hearing. Wow. Well, maybe we should leave it open. I'm not sure we got a regular meeting posted. Um, I, think we, I think we can make uh, decisions during the public meeting because that was posted. I thought she I, I looked on the agenda or on the calendar and it just said the public hearing. There was no no mention of a regular CPA meeting afterwards. So Well, no, but if no one comes to the hearing, thus no one's going to make any any recommended edits or put up any stink about anything, you can possibly put this under the category of um, items not anticipated. Because right. Well... Without without public comment, we should be able to go ahead and <clears throat> and, and and vote. I would think so. Yeah, the public hearing announced that it was to review and approve, so or right. something. Right. Yeah, I think we could. right. We We've decide. already voted them. We were just <clears throat> actually. We, just, we need. We want to make sure everybody's cool with it. We would, then we got to decide yeah. what buckets are coming out of. Yeah. <clears throat> which we already know, but we need to put it in writing. <clears throat> so. Library accessibility project for $75,000. We have already approved it going to the town meeting or to the Sykeman to put it on a warrant for a town meeting. What buckets would we like to take that money out of? It has to come out of the, well, I recommend we take it out of the fund balance. Which I think is, we already voted that once upon a time. We did? Okay. It's better to take it out of cash on hand than out of cash flow because, and there isn't any historical preservation. Right. Okay. Right. Well, there's a bucket, but it's empty. It's empty. Yeah. <laughs> we emptied it quick. All right. And then the Veterans Memorial Park project for $21,000. Uh, I think they were actually asking for 19,733, and we rounded it off to 21 just for contingency. What buckets would you like to take that out of? That uh, has to... Go ahead. Donna. Well, I was going to say we voted last time to take it from the unallocated fund balance. Okay. It, it can't come from one of the three buckets. So. No. Very good. What does that bring the unallocated fund balance down to? You sent us that, Judy, didn't you? Yeah, I'm looking at it. it. Well, it's it depends whether you're talking June 30th or no snapshot in time right now. Well, it's gotta. If you tell me when you sent the email, I could put it up on the screen. I mean, I can find it in my email. It has $117,518 estimated as of June 30th. So that will take, it'll leave about 25,000 in it. Okay. And then we would put more. All right. In, and then the budgeted reserve this year will flop into it. So we'll wind up going into next year with about a hundred thousand in it and add another 87, I think. Okay, it's a good number. So we, you think we're gonna be around $180,000 for projects next year, plus the buckets? Yeah. 180,000 available. You're talking about available, not 
we don't know of any projects that are coming down the yeah, line. Yeah, I mean, this, this Except this Jonathan's, shows... um, Jonathan's uh, ice rink. <laughs> the ice rink, and, and I, I, would, I would bet my last, well, not my last dollar, but I would bet that we'll be doing something with uh, Tritown. Although we just lost the last remaining commissioner from Deerfield. So <laughs> if, uh, if Deerfield wants to cede this to us, then that's fine as well. And then we can do with it as we please, but, All right. um, but we, we, we're going to have to figure out how to, how to, how to keep the growth from happening in the pond. Um, <clears throat> and that's going to cost some money. Yeah. So just for the minutes, Judy, you said you estimate about 100,000 left in the unallocated reserve plus the 180 or so we will add next year. Or do we not want to talk about this without looking at a chart? <laughs> no. I, it's going to be what, what I'm showing in the unallocated that will go I guess if you define unallocated as both the existing fund balance and the reserve we set up this year, there'll be 180,000 left in that combined. Oh, okay, I misunderstood. Okay. Once we, once we move into, we'll have about 100. I'm trying to do these numbers on the fly and not very well. Is we'll have about a hundred thousand left at the end of this year and another ninety thousand next year. I can sit down and calculate it and get you the precise number, but it's either somewhere 180, 190. Plus the buckets. Plus right. the buckets. Okay. <clears throat> Very good. We do have the minutes from April twelfth. Um, with a few corrections, uh, if you guys all had a chance to look at Judy's red line, uh, mm -hmm. just a few non-essential clarifications. Mm -hmm. So if you guys want time to look it over before we can do it at the next meeting, if, we, if there is another meeting, or are we okay to vote on it now? I'm okay to vote on it now. All right. Uh, so I move approval of the minutes with Judy's corrections of this morning. Second that. All in favor? Aye. 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 Those opposed? Unanimous. We need to talk to Amy about sending out a townwide email about the upcoming off cycle oh. application deadline. What are you smiling for, Jude? Not ready for this. Huh? Yeah, we do. Yeah, we do. So Your I'll turn. email. Your I, turn. All right. I'll email Amy and tell her to send out June. I don't have my phone with me. What's the second Wednesday in June? Ninth. The ninth. So the application will be due the eighth. Oh, that's right around the corner. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I think not not for Jonathan's benefit, because he knows this, but last year, I think it was last year, I all time has gotten confused. You know, we got into the was it last year that the library applied, but it wasn't in a way that was not at all time sensitive. Right. Um, so maybe we could tighten up the language somehow, <laughs> make it really clear that you can't apply in June unless it's something that must be done. Um, um, maybe just make time sensitive in bold letters or something. Yeah, or something, something. I mean, it, yes. I mean, you can't make people read. No, no. And I think again, it probably makes sense to say we accept digital submissions. 
Eve Gencere yedin kerşa. And in December, because town offices were closed, we accepted digital submissions. Okay. And we and, should do that again. Yeah, because they're yeah. sort of closed. Okay. Well, it also eliminates a whole lot of manual work when we don't have many staff people in town offices. Right. Well, actually it doesn't because we make the applicant, it, it eliminates a lot of work for the applicants. <laughs> Making all the copies. Not mention it is the 21st century. Yeah. So does anybody will, have anything else? Well, I will send a list of our votes to Brian for the warrant. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay, and I'll get a hold of Amy to make sure she sends out that townwide email. Uh, we should probably schedule a meeting for. June 9th, but if no applications come in, we can always cancel it. You will get one. You will? Time sensitive? And the hockey rink. Okay. I mean, you, you gotta have the, the money before the ground, before water freeze. <laughs> it makes sense to me. And the place was really popular last year. It was great. It was. I was, I was happy to see it, that many people use it. It was really cool. And and as it gets bigger, you'll see more people and, and it'll allow us to put better signage up and all that kind of stuff. To, yeah. So, so you're um, thinking about making a bigger rink? Yeah, it's going to be bigger and, and, and we're going to buy some stuff that um, will preserve the rink. Um, you know, just we'll better yeah. preserve the rink. Yeah. But yeah, it's still pretty small. So expanding it um, will just... It, allow for for more access and more usability that's good okay so, also some safety measures all right so we're gonna have a meeting on the 12th i mean on the 9th june 9th mm -hmm. okay nothing else folks would you hey. tell amy that when you along that with the that we're accept we're expecting one we'll schedule the meeting while you send her the yes the notice about the Yep. I'll get back on the ball now, Judy. The flowers are almost done. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Planning board is juggling so many projects. I don't know which end is up. Man, you lost a key member, too. Who? Yeah. Nicholas. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yep, so bad. So well, few volunteers. Had, it's tough when you lose anybody. Well, he had a lot of... Uh, Gen generational knowledge, which is mm -hmm. sorely missed, and well, a good, good common sense. It's also why, you know, the 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 one of the Warren articles this year in town meeting will be to hire a quasi assistant town administrator planning person uh, to, oh. to take some of the load off people mm. because the state's requiring more and more stuff. Um, there's stuff that the town wants to do that requires capacity. We have a diminishing number of volunteers, diminishing number of skill sets within the diminishing number of volunteers. Um, and you can't do anything with the current capacity of the town. So you just sit there and you, and you become static and any town that's static instead of dynamic is in a lot of trouble. Yeah. It's, it's really remarkable what the town gets done. I, I, I'm being really serious. I, I, Judy's heard this before, but I talk frequently with a very good friend of mine who lives in Arlington and he's on their community preservation committee, which is supported by three staff people. Really? <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. And it's Arlington. It's not Boston. <laughs> you know? right. So a, a population of what, 25,000 people probably, if that? Yeah, I'm getting, yeah, that sounds a ballpark. Yeah. yeah. So, you know, I mean, it could be 40 and it could be 20, but it's not 1400. Yeah. No. Right. Yeah. So we, we do a tremendous amount. We do more than the town of Deerfield does with their CPC. I think so. And with their planning board, I think. I mean, the, the bar not is to, not to mention Hadley. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Anybody got anything else? Supper time.
Okay. Well, I, you, guys, you guys are all going to come to the select board meeting, right? Sure. No. <laughs> no. You talking about anything good? No. I got to look at the agenda. No. Not really. Fair enough. We'll marijuana. See you, we'll see you soon. Uh, every time is marijuana. <laughs> all right. See you guys. Okay. Bye-bye. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Bye -bye. Thanks. Bye.